Change is inevitable, but growth is optional. Our school has changed a lot in the last century. Our story begins in 1912, when political unrest in Mexico brought an influx of Mexican Catholics to Houston. The Oblates of Mary Immaculate were asked to start Our Lady of Guadalupe Parish, named after the patron saint of Mexico. In order to receive the sacraments in Spanish for these new Houstonians, the first Mass was celebrated on August 18, 1912. That same year, on September 8, Our Lady of Guadalupe opened its doors to 50 students. For the next 87 years, the Sisters of Divine Providence ran the school. They offered a free education and took no pay in the early years. The Dominican sisters then took over the school for five years, followed by the Religious of the Sacred Heart. The Sacred Heart sisters ran the administration starting in 1983, and those ties they created are still evident today. Though the school saw many changes in leadership, our community remained tight-knit. Our school property has changed as well. What started as one small building shared by the church and school has grown into a parish office building, a school building, a gym, and a cafeteria, two parking lots, La Escolita, and Eagle Field for athletic use. So what hasn't changed in 106 years? Our Lady of Guadalupe School continues to educate the population it was intended for, which is anyone who wishes an affordable Catholic education. Like our mission statement says, we are dedicated to instilling Catholic character, strengthening academic excellence, and empowering students to serve others. Our students continue to work through a regular curriculum and participate in extracurricular activities. The majority of our graduates continue their education in Catholic high schools. Our faculty and staff continue to raise the bar for academic achievement. Our principal continues to make good decisions based on the best interest of our students. Our community continues to support us through volunteering and generous donations. We have made the conscious decision to grow with the world around us taken the opportunities to purchase more land to add to our school, to embrace and utilize new upgrades in technology, to build relationships with community partners, and to build the growing needs of our community. Change is inevitable, but growth is optional. Our Lady of Guadalupe School has overcome a lot of challenges, and we choose to grow in order to be the best that we can be. We can also measure smaller changes, even just within the past year. Way back in August, we started the school year with some new faculty members. They jumped right in and have changed their classrooms up with new ideas and new perspectives. During the devastation of Hurricane Harvey, we witnessed the power of prayer change spirits in our community. We had other schools from all over the country reaching out and asking what they could do to help. Our church also conducted a drive and donated food and clothing to give away to those in need. Thanks to generous benefactors like yourselves, we were able to change and upgrade our playground last summer. Now students can enjoy slides and monkey bars under a cooling tarp with the added safety of a gate. In the classrooms, we have been blessed to upgrade some of our textbooks and supplies in order to have the most up-to-date resources. Our teachers participate in professional development and trainings in order to change their techniques. 
Our students have grown from strangers into classmates, and from classmates into friends. Last but not least, we can measure our change and growth within ourselves. I've been attending Our Lady of Guadalupe since the third grade. I've experienced many ups and downs, new teachers, tough tests, and the transition to middle school, and making great friends. I feel like I have been nurtured in a positive, enriching environment, and I've been encouraged to become the man that God created me to be. This place has been a constant in my life amidst the chaos of the outside world. I feel ready to make the transition to high school this fall because Our Lady of Guadalupe has prepared me academically, emotionally, and spiritually. I'm Benjamin Hernandez, and this is my school. and I'm a fourth generation member here at Our Lady of Guadalupe Catholic Church. Um, my great grandma, she went here in 1932 and she met my great grandfather here as well. Um, my grandmother came here as well as my grandfather and many other members of my family such as my aunts, uncles, um, cousins, 
my dad went here. Um, I graduated in 2015 and my younger sisters and brother go here as well. Now I'm a junior at Duchenne Academy of the Sacred Heart. Uh, looking back at my years here at Our Lady Guadalupe, it was very different from what it is now. Um, a lot of the people that I met growing up here, I still keep in touch with them, which is something that the school is known for, for making um, friendships and bonds with people that you'll keep for the rest of your life. And I think it's true that knowing that I'm still friends with a lot of the people I met here. My grandmother, she's told me many stories about when she grew up here and how it was going to school here during that time. Um, one of the stories that she's told me is how her and my grandpa met when they were in lower school and they used to tease each other and throw rocks at each other and then that was the first time they met here on campus. Um, another thing would be all the festivals that still go on today and my grandmother would take part in a lot of them. Graduating in the eighth grade, I felt very prepared for high school. The education had prepared me for the exams and everything that was to come my way in the future years and still today I'm very thankful for everything I received here. Um, other than education, I feel like I first learned to love God here from lower school to now and I'm still continuing that journey. In the years to come, I hope that generations continue to receive the morals and values that the parish and community here have to offer with um, the love and support from community members and um, growing in our faith. I'm Caitlin Duran, and this is my school. Thank you to the faculty and staff of Our Lady of Guadalupe. We truly appreciate your commitment and dedication to our school. You are truly making a difference in our students' success. Thank you. Many of the school resources that we have here at Our Lady of Guadalupe are due to the generous benefactors in our community. Without these resources, many of the things that the students are doing would not be possible. Thank you to the benefactors and supporters of Our Lady of Guadalupe School. Being a principal of two school-age children, know that your children are in good care and that they are my priority. I am forever grateful of the support from our parents and parishioners of the school community. Our events have been a success this school year due to your support and lending hands. Thank you to all of our parents and parishioners for the hard work that you have committed to Our Lady of Guadalupe School. I am truly blessed to have the support of my husband and children. This journey could not be possible without you by my side. Know that you are my rock. I am the principal, Iracema Ortiz, and this is my school.